Hey everybody, welcome to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. At the time of recording this video, we are less than 24 hours away from the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series X and Series S. I thought now would be a good time to do a quick review on what controllers are available for Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Xbox, and those coming up shortly. Xbox gamepads of course are compatible, but if you're keen on simulation you might be interested to see what else is out there. This video is a direct follow-on to my earlier videos covering the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator on the console. I've pre-downloaded the sim and ready to go. How about you? Having been out in the market for some time and compatible with the Series X and Series S is the Hori Hands-On Throttle and Stick or HOTAS. It features a separate throttle and flight stick. It's a medium duty unit and it is somewhat expensive in comparison to some other models. Availability like most things varies. Also available is Thrustmaster's T-Flight HOTAS 1. Once again, featuring a separate throttle and flight stick, but can be combined as one unit. It has the added bonus of being both Xbox and PC compatible, changeable via a switch. Expect to pay something between 70 and 80 pounds for this unit at the moment. And uniquely, it also offers as an optional purchase a set of rudder pedals, which once again are Xbox compatible. Like the Hori Hotas, it features numerous buttons and familiar button labels for regular console users. This HOTAS is my favourite at the moment, and let's quickly just take a closer look. This is a fairly sturdy unit, especially when bolted together. My units are just clipped together for purposes of the demonstration. The flight stick has a sturdy feel to it and good resistance. It also features a twist access for rudder control if you don't have the rudder pedals. The throttle unit has the normal large handle, very comfortable, and has a very definite center detent, so no problem finding idle. I would have preferred more resistance on the movement along the axis. It does hold position, but it's not a lot of resistance. Here you can see I've now separated the two units. They're connected via a cable. The cable's relatively long, so you can have them on either side of a desk. If I'm flying the fighter jets, well, I prefer to have them separated more often than not. There's a large number of buttons on the unit, both on the side and on the reverse side. You can see we've got a rocker switch and additional further buttons. I'm looking forward to see how this performs in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The throttle unit once again has a variety of buttons and switches, as well as a hat switch on top for controlling your views. Switching between Xbox and PC mode is easy and done with a switch, and you can also see the connection for the optional rudder pedals if you have them. If you decide to join the unit up as one, well there's easy cable management as indicated, so the cables don't stop the unit sitting level on the desk. An Allen key is provided if you want to go ahead and bolt the unit together. Right now, until something better comes along, the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTAS 1 is my choice for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm not aware of any other compatible joysticks or HOTAS systems. If I've missed something, let me know in the comments below. But right now, let's see what's coming up and expected for release later this year. Kept well under wraps and surprising the market recently is this new development from Turtle Beach. It's the Velocity One flight control system. It features both commercial and GA throttle control, integrated trim, yoke and built-in annunciator panel as well. There's quite a bit of excitement in the market at the moment about this upcoming product. Release date is not known but we could be looking at the last quarter of 2021. It's not inexpensive, coming in at just under £330. Honeycomb Aeronautical have garnered a reputation for high-quality flight control systems and currently have their Alpha Flight Joke and Bravo Throttle Quadrant out in the market for PC. They have announced they plan to release an Alpha Yoke that is Xbox compatible. And this will allow the Bravo Throttle Quadrant and the upcoming Charlie Rudder Pedals to connect via that yoke 
for Xbox compatibility. Unfortunately, due to production restrictions, I assume, no dates have been announced. Honeycomb Aeronautical, who are now partners with Microsoft and officially supporting the Xbox Series S and X, are bringing out the Foxtrot Flight Stick and the Tango Foxtrot Stick and Throttle. I must say the units look good and Honeycomb do have a reputation for pretty good quality overall. No prices are known at this time. And as mentioned earlier, I think we'd be very lucky to see any of this in 2021. I'm sure there'll be more announcements in the near future. But for now, that's all that I'm aware of. Thank you very much for being with me today. I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you soon and bye for now.